fellow baseball fans and welcome MLB the show with a good one coming at you it's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the New York Yankees first pitch coming your way next just about set to go our starter in this one Marcus Stroman but Chris he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. well I'll say this every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark in front of their fans in front of the city and you know this guy no different he wants to be more effective here so you know you look at the numbers they haven't been great at home I'm sure he wants to turn that around and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one all right ready to go here so in now for the Angels Nolan Shonowell yeah. That catches the zone for a strike. And with that, we're underway in the Bronx. Check ah. swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. No ball. Two strikes. Luis Rangifo. And first offering is fouled off. Stroman, he gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard. Not to mention the fact, not too many hits either. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time, and he's an exception. Yeah, and One, even with those home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. And that's two in the dirt. You look at what the elite pitchers do. They strike guys out, they limit walks, and they limit the ball going out of the park. One out, base is empty. To third, and that chance handled. Sends it across to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. And Chris, this offense is facing a defense that is well known for kicking the ball around a bit. How aware are you offensively of a bad defensive team? Well, you're not like completely aware because you're really focusing your, on your approach but I think when you know about a team and how they can be sloppy and as it plays ball. out in a ball game you're more intent on saying with two strikes I got to make sure that I put the ball in play because even if I don't get a knock there's a chance they commit an error and it leads to us scoring more runs the 1-0 yeah, top of the zone for a called strike yeah, all you one want is a guy like that. Take the ball every fifth day, go out there, hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. Yeehaw. Next offering is in for a strike. Hi. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three-up, three-down inning. Middle of the first. No score after a half inning. Back now in the Bronx. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Tyler Anderson. Singing, he's kind of a road warrior, yeah? I definitely say so. You know, some guys shrink a little bit on the road. They're so used to just you know, having the comforts of being at home and having the fans behind them. But this guy seems to thrive in adversity go, and Bob. being in some hostile environment. So when you have a player like this on your team that goes out there and competes, you definitely like your chances away from your home ballpark. Alex yeah. Verdugo leading things off and takes a strike. Anderson, a 6-2 southpaw. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a cutter, a sinker, and he works in a slider. That one fouled off.
That misses. Going to count one and two. Good eye right there. It's a good take. Two and two. The two two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Here's Juan Soto. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And that one fouled off. I thought this was a fun note on Soto. In 2023, he hit home runs in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. I don't think it matters where Soto plays. He's going to hit home runs everywhere he goes. Next That's offering is downstairs. Fastball for a strike. One and two. Here's a one two. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. Bows it off. Still one and two. And now the lefty. Foul ball still a one and two count. Anderson ready to work. High fly ball, shallow right field. Moniac has this one sized up, puts it away for the out. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup, this has been a good productive lineup so far this year, currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know, this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean, this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and guys are swinging and missing going for the fences. But if you can That's increase that what? contact rate, you can be a dangerous club. You get more guys on base, and then all of a sudden, when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact, let the defense work behind it. Missed with a changeup and one and one. Two out spaces empty. One and two now. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two, two strikes. Ball, two strike. Up the middle. What a stop! From his backside, not in time, and he reaches safely. This is great work by the shortstop. He makes the throw across the diamond after the dive and just wasn't able to get it there in time. But I love how much he put into that play. And on the other side, he was really giving it his all down the line as well. Nice play on both ends. Two outs, runner at first. Austin Wells getting ready to hit. Pitch no, misses it, inside, and it's 1-0. 1-0. Oh. Oh. Judge leads off first with two down to the inning. Swings right, through one. that one for strike one. 1-1. One, one. Pitch Good. is in there, and a count one and two. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings and misses. That ends the frame. The Yanks leave one. We played an inning. No score. Back in the Bronx, Willie Calhoun stands in here. Willie Calhoun. And the right hander back to work. Strike right. one. No ball. One strike.
That one pulled foul. That's one down and in. A slider missed. So next, Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. And yeah, a foul ball. And yeah, that one missing low. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well liked umpire Boog. Pretty consistent with his zone. So if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. No score here in the second. And another ball. Inside. Hit on the ground might be two. There's one. Not in time hey. at first. It's a fielder's choice. That is good. The right field, number 16, Mickey Moniak. And now the right fielder, Mickey Moniak. Take it high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And here it comes. Switch through that one. It's a strikeout. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the play. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Now it's the shortstop, Zach Neto. Just oh. missed. One and oh. The pitch. Nope. Ball. And it's fouled away. A little bit low. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. <laughs> Two outs. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there is another strikeout. Angels lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. At Yankee Leading Stadium, off. and now Giancarlo Stanton. As the lefty gets to work, 
That's in there. That's strike one. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. The lefty fires. That's pitch in for a strike, and it's one and two. One, two. And another ball. Now all even up. Fights it off. He'll see another. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third, and the base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a great way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent ball control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do at the tee where it's placed in different spots. That's just nice. Runner on at first with one gone. Now here is Glaber Torres. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. Chisholm, the base runner at first with one out. And a big swing and a miss. I went to. Swings Ooh, through it for the K. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And next for New York, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera. In the air, left field, down the line. Ward grabs it on the run. So one hit is all they get. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back for more from the Bronx. Here's Joe Adele. Center fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And that one fouled off. Into center. Judge is under it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Luis Guillorme. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Right, On the inside corner for a strike. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as the stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Throw to first is in time. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Nolan. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Nolan Shotwell will hit next. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And a good no, eye there. No. This one popped up on his way over. He makes the grab. And that is that. Angels held in check. And we are still scoreless. in the Bronx and now Four the shortstop game. Anthony Volpe the shortstop. Anthony. Anderson back to work and downstairs and right back to the mound 
One up, one down. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's Alex Verdugo. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Fastball for a strike. Only two now. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. One down, base is empty. Oh. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. The line to kick the pitch. And two another and ball. Still tied at zero, last of the third. The line to the pitch. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Bohapi drifts towards it, corrals it. Two down. Now bad. First base. Long. Soto. And now it's Juan Soto. Fly to right his first time. And that's oh. off the inside edge ball, ball. No strike. nowadays with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around defense isn't necessarily about making errors are you able to get to the ball are you able to position fielders where guys hit the one ball, ball but within the new shift rules two down nobody on so a foul ball makes it one and two in an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. Nothing across here this half. Three innings complete. No score. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Luis Rangifo. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to ball the metrics outside. and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. This to third, Chisholm. Zips it across. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over and got the ground ball. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Just no, that missed. That's the ball. The one, two. That one out to right. Stanton is there. Makes the catch for the out. And there's two away. The bat, the bat, the bat. And next for the Angels, Willie Calhoun. And he's already singled in this game. 
First that pitch, and he ball. just misses. Calhoun measures wow. five feet eight inches, 205 pounds. He joined the team as a free wow. agent. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball the and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep Two the momentum one. going. And there's a foul ball. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs. That's ripped. Base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Runner at first with two away. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Yeehaw. And that clips the inside corner. Yeah. Swings through the yeah. Generally, second or time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Field two. Swings over the splitter for strike three. The runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We're midway in the fourth. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Fourth, and stepping Four in for the Yankees, Yankees, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. He turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm, delivers. Ball. Well, in terms of hitting rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater Three. exit velocity ah. than Judge. Look out, though. One, one. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. Two. And Here another ball. Misses and the count's full. Kicks and deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Here comes a pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. Just like that, they move in front. It's one nothing. The count was full, but he was ready to swing it. Well, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. It would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Now a chance that's for high, Austin Wells. Nobody on. Nobody out with a run in. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That's towards center. Adele moves under it. Brings it in. And there's one down. Now bad right fielder. Here's Stanton now. Stanton. And he can't come up with it. But plenty of time to recover. And that's the second out. The bat, the third base Jazz. Two Jazz. outs, base is empty. Jazz Chisholm Jr. stepping in now for the Yankees. One for one with a single so far. Hey, hey, you win. Oh, and one.
Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. And we're back. New inning getting started. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Mickey. Stroman back to work. Wouldn't chase that time. You know, these Angels just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times. And it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Next offering in there for a strike. One and two. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. On the ground to Jazz. And the lead off bit set down in their half of the field. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So digging in, Zach Neto. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. That's the ball. That's down and in. One down, base is empty. Foul ball there. The shortstop takes the ball. That one to first. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The throw is still in time. And they do get the out. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. And now the center fielder, Joe Adele. First one offering out. misses badly for ball one. The Halos trailing by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. He was all over that one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Diorme stands in here, takes ball one low. Stroman throw to first. Adele back in standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. And a 1-0. And ball. another ball. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. 3-0. for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And here's the first baseman Nolan Shonowell. He's been really clutch with runners in scoring position this season so they'll have to be extra careful in this matchup. In there, and it's 0-1. Out towards right center field. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that's the third out. So they've been held scoreless through five. Yankees one, and the Angels nothing.
We head to the Here bottom of the fifth. Labor Torres game. up to hit. The second baseman. Labor. So the pitch. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And a pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And, and a pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Kicks and fires. One ball, two strikes. Bows it back with two strikes. The line and the pitch. That one no, that's just not misses. Ball. Two now. Good nope. take by oh. Torres. Full count. And he grounds one to the right oh. side. And foul ball. Good plate appearance it. there. Oh. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long yeah. at bat. You know, Brook, it's been said, these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Runner on the goal. Swing and a foul straight back. Gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Next for New York, Anthony Volpe. He's over one. That one ball, off the mark, high. and that's ball one. And the pitch. That one fouled off. Man at first, one away. And yeah. one and two. Got him swinging. Beat him inside on that last pitch, and when you look back at the pitch sequence on that strikeout, it's pretty interesting. Away, in, away, and then back in again. Really commanded both sides of the plate right there, and that makes it pretty tough to get comfortable in the box. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. And there's a strike. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. And it's oh. even up. Stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. 
Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Watch Soto now. Pulls that one foul. Two on, two outs. Bouncer to second. Guillaume to first. They get the out on Soto. That's the third out. Yank strand a pair. They lead it 1 0. Back here in New York, top six. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Luis Rangifo. Here the right hater back to work. That's in there. It's 0 1. They always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. They get ahead. Oh, good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the attack. Righty delivers. In the air, out towards left center. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. And there's one away. And now it's going to be Logan O'Hoppy. And there's the strike. Pitch misses. Oh. And a count one and two. One, Base two. is empty one away. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Bounce to the left side. Jazz tosses the first. Play is made two out. The bad, 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 bad. Yes, can, so two down now, Willie. and here is Calhoun. Willie Calhoun. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye right there. Two down, nobody on. Out to short. Volpe. Low throw, and he can't take it out. You know, two out errors are kind of like two out walks and sometimes even worse. You know, you think you're out of the inning, but all of a sudden, you get another out to get, and the offense has a great opportunity. They're looking to take advantage of and make you pay for it. And at first, Taylor Ward now at the plate. Struck out on just three pitches last time. First pitch doesn't oh, find the zone. But with the tie-in run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Right-hander kicks, deals. And no, another hand. ball. Two balls, no strike. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Calhoun off of first with two away. That just misses, and it's three and two. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire, and out there on the mound. Maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. Payoff pitch. Up the middle, Torres. 
Wide throw no, no, no. pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout is a perfect slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. So two on with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Mickey Moniak. And it immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Two outs. The base runners at first and second. And that just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And the righty deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left-hand hitter waits. Fouls it off, still one and two. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Next pitch oh. misses, two and two. On the ground, right side, Torres. They take the force out, and that is the inning. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. Yankees won, and the Angels nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. The seventh Aaron Judge. And he deals. Just oh. missed. All right, so Monument Park out there in center field at Yankee Stadium. Have you gotten a chance to check that out? Boog, I have seen it more after my playing career than I did as a player. But as a broadcaster, many times entering and exiting through the center field fence, particularly in the playoffs, get a chance to take a glimpse over. And I got to say, you do get some goosebumps. And now it's one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. And there's oh. a ball. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. That count one misses. And the count is filled up. pitch and they'll do it again and there's ball four that's a great at bat he saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk it feels to me like his time on the mound is running short starting to show some signs of fatigue so we'll see how much longer they let it go Up for the third time here. Watches that one ball, miss. No Activity of the bullpen for the Angels. Matt Moore up and loosening in the pen. Fulmer, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Down yeah. the middle for a strike. And it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. And now the lefty bows that off to the left and will do it again. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a pop-up. Bring Hifo under this one. Makes the catch. 
And there's one down. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third innings. Yeah, yeah. They can right. do what they've done in the next couple yeah, of hours. Oh. And now it's yeah, John Carlos yeah. Stanton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Judge on the run. Swing and a miss. The throw oh. and tag, and he's out. You know, sometimes a throw that bounces into second base can be just as good as a perfect throw in the air. Almost a little bit easier to handle at second base. For me, that caught stealing right there was all about a really poor jump off first. Just didn't time it well, and he was toast after that. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Adele going after it. And that'll do it. Top of inning number seven. So in now for the Angels, Zach Neto. The pitch. And a good no, eye there. No. Movement in the Yankees pen. Number 50. Getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Hill, the left-hander, also throwing. Looking to get the tying run on base. So two oh. balls and no strikes. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough the sixth inning there, yeah. but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me. They will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. One for two. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And the pitch. Misses no, just miss. off the, the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Really close pitch down around the knees there. And you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. This one in the air right field. Stant should have this one. Drops into the glove. Two away down. The batter number 15, second baseman. Luis, Luis Guillorme, the next to hit for the Angels. He's 0 for 1. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So the two out knock extends the inning and sends them back to the top of the order. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That's it for Marcus Stroman, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. New pitcher for the Yankees, Luis Heal. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. So the lineup flips over, and now the first baseman, Nolan Shonowell. That yeah. catches the top part of the zone. Going one. Right one. now, they're looking for something. Hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Guillaume off the of first with two away. Next pitch oh, is out. outside. And 
and here it comes. And that one wrapped foul. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs. That's the ball. Speed stuff. Angels strand one. They still trail one nothing. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Matt Moore. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one run game. Here's the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Here comes a pitch. In there at the knees. That's strike one. Moore in his 12th season, 34 year old vet, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2007. He swings and fouls one off. And a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 2. Well, he's so One great about hitting strikes. the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little outside. bit so he That's doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Left-hand batter waits. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And That's another ball. ball. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Adele balls it in, and there's one away. Here's Glaber Torres. Second base Glaber Torres. First That's pitch misses. And a strike to Glaber. Base is empty one, one away. Here the bottom of the seventh. Falling That's behind down. two That's and one. one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Two, two. On the ground to third. And yeah, Glaber Torres retired. Now, now the, the designated hitter, Oswaldo Cabrera. Oswaldo Cabrera, the next to hit. High fly ball down the left field line. Ward sizes this one up. He's got it. And that is that. We go to the eighth. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. The why to kick the pitch. Ball oh. one there. You don't want to get beat by a fastball one in. Up. And he spits on that one. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Clay Holmes getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. The wide to the pitch. 
pitch. Yeah. Swing, did he go? Yes, he did. One, one. Kicks and deals. Fastball in for a strike. Now one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Hauls it in for the out. The bat. The catcher. Logan. Now at the plate, Logan oh, Ohapi. 0 oh for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that puts the tying run on base. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. One down, runner at first. Willie Calhoun getting ready to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. With the tying run on at first, and we're in the top of the eighth. Nice changeup. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Swing and a ball popped up. Under it. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was that right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. Instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunately, for him. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, number 50. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Taylor Ward will hit next. One for three. First that pitch miss, just ball. misses. One ball, no strike. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. And a count one and two. Swung on, belted. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. That's a bittersweet moment right there. This game could easily be tied up right now, but they'll need to stay focused on the positives. And they have two runners in scoring position with a chance to take the lead late in this game. And that's good news for this offense. But, yeah, the defense feels like they caught a break, no doubt. Now, here is Mickey Monier. Good. There's a strike. At the belt and fires. Ah. And fires in a fastball of 95. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Righty delivers. That's outside. No, that's out. Now one and two.
and the pitch. That one no, that just missed, missing inside. Two and two. That's a really good take. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Five foul balls in this at-bat so far, and these two are going head-to-head. -head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Wouldn't chase that time. Zach Neto waiting for a turn at the plate. Bohapi at third. Ward on at second with two down. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. When you go that deep into an at-bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Two outs, bases full. Zach Neto now at the plate. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And there's a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Two outs. Bases are full. Good that eye on that spot. Ball. for the Yankees, Aniel De Los Santos. And this could be now a pretty critical point in this game. game. They're hoping he's the guy Number to keep him within two, striking two. distance. And, yeah. 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 Joe Adele, the next to hit for the Angels. Way upstairs. And, up. and that is ball one. Man on second, two down. Oh. That one missed. Pop foul out of play off to the right. And a pitch. Hard ground ball, base now. Around third. Now a long throw home. But it's offline. And they lead by three. Picks himself up an RBI. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So a man aboard. Here's the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. In there for strike one. That one, one is one. inside ball one. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. On the ground to third. Dives and he can't hang on. To first and he beats it. Everyone's safe. 
to the top of the lineup and next for LA Nolan Shanuel. There's a strike 95 of that one. Righty to the plate. That one catches the zone, but it's not a good two. Quickly down 0-2 on the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. That missed no, inside. That and that's ball one. That's down and in. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And down on strikes he goes. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. Nine men come to the plate for score. Last half of the eighth coming up. Angels four and the Yankees one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Mike Bauman. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. And the batter now, Anthony Volpe. The Yanks in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And a foul ball. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. And he deals. And downstairs. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter. The one oh, man is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms. It gets stability from all of their performances. So the batting order turns over. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Well, it's critical right no here that one they strike. bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. The Yankees looking to rally. Next pitch is outside. 0-2 fastball way One out ball, of the zone. Strikes. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And a 1-2. And oh. another ball. The Angels leading by three. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Backed ball off count. the plate that time. Right-handed reliever stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Good job to fight that one off. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And that's a base hit. He forced a lot of pitches to be thrown and ends up collecting a hit. Just a great bat right there. Saw a lot of pitches. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So up next, Juan Soto. And that one a little bit high. One out.
the 1-0. Right through there for a strike. Verdugo leads off first with one away. And that one got a piece of him. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The tying run at the plate. Yeah. Oh, we do. That one misses. Yeah, the count one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, look for something two down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Tying run at the plate. Fights it off. You'll see another. That misses. Oh. And a full count now. Austin Wells on deck for the Yankees. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning, and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something, pick up his teammate and his club. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Jose Marte. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Austin Wells. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Boog, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. You've got to keep things That's airtight defensively right here on One your ball, toes, no ready strike. to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three run lead, it should be a W. That one is absolutely belted. That's got a chance. So high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. First pitch doesn't find the zone. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Just oh, off the it. inside edge. That misses the zone. And that's ball three. Jazz Chisholm Jr. waits on deck. So the tying run at second. So now two on and two outs. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. <laughs> Substitution now at first base. And here's the pinch runner, Miguel Lopez. Jazz Chisholm Jr. stepping in now for the Yankees. Yeah. And it's way to miss. Action in the Angels' oh, bullpen. Jose Quijada appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Fulmer, the right-hander, also getting loose. Right. That 
one finds the zone. And a count is 0-2. This guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now into the game, Miguel Lopez. He takes over and right. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jake Cousins. He's been so good against lefties. Number eight. Well, one run game. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. And the pitch. There's a strike. Ripped in the left center base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now Here's the Angels catch, the catch Logan O'Hoppy. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. It bangs off the wall. Headed for the plate. The throw is offline and he's in to score. And they take a two-run lead. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. So now the DH spot, Willie Calhoun. First pitch misses. Man at second. Ball. Two and out. Oh. Yeah, that oh. skips in the dirt. Good pitchers Three make out. pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle of the order hitter up, runner in scoring position, yeah. he's got to find a way to throw a quality Three strike. One. The pitch. Fought off foul. Three balls, two strikes, the count. And ball four, two aboard. Taylor Ward, the, the next to hit for the Angels. Taylor Ward. in there strike one really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count he's going to have to continue finish off this hitter one run across in the frame so far here at the top of the night check swing he went too far and it's a strike no ball two strikes There's one to hey. first, not in time. Great effort there. Man, who doesn't love a sweet bare hand play like that? That was amazing. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full That's speed. Oh. Inside just missed. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. And a foul ball left side. The pitch just uh, uh, missed. Oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Mohapi, the runner at third. Ward over at first, so going away. 
Ground ball could be two. Soto toss to second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 5-3. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, and Joyce. A chance at his first now save of the year. Number 44, Ben Joyce. Here is Glaber Torres. For the Yankees. The second baseman, Laser Torres. And here it comes. That one That's misses. Ball. ball one. Just no, missed. Out. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Fouls it back with two strikes. The pitch. High chopper to third. Sends it to first. And Labor Torres retired. Next is the DH. A switch hitter, Oswaldo Cabrera. That one, one not and close. Up. One and oh. Wouldn't nope, chase that time. time. Ball. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. And a pinch. Yeah. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. Whips it across. Two up, two down. Oh, boy, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. So it's their last chance in this one. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. <laughs>